Hey guys, welcome back. We recently moved into a new apartment here and I was actually looking for a room where I could set up my camera, lights and everything and do all the future videos. And I thought this hall would be nice, we have enough space and they decided to set everything right here. And when I was setting up the lighting, I had so many lights with me. I had this LED strip, I had this lightning bolt and I had this flashing lights and I had this lamp right here. So basically I had almost everything and I was good to go. But the only problem was I was not able to control the brightness of these lights with respect to ambient light. So we are creators, no? What do we do? We create things. So I decided to make a brightness controller for this LED. So in this video, I'll be showing you how we can control the brightness of these kind of LEDs with the help of a DIY circuit. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button right here. And if you like this video, make sure you give this video a like and support our channel. So let's take a look at the circuit. I used Altium Designer to draw the circuit and design the PCB. Altium is a PCB designer that can be used to create simple PCBs for your hobby projects or complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. It is easy to create our own PCBs using Altium. If you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you are gonna love it. Altium subscription includes something called Altium 365 which will let you design and share and even manufacture your project in one place. Secure centralized cloud storage lets you share designs and ideas with teammates or clients. You can download and install the free trial version from the description down below. And if you are a student, you get a 6 month full license absolutely free. Don't miss this opportunity. So, we basically have an Arduino Nano which is the brain of this project and of course you can use any Arduino board. The input voltage is connected to 7805 voltage regulator which will convert the V in to a steady 5 volt DC supply. There are two potentiometers here which are connected to the 5 volt which will act as voltage dividers and the output of the ports are connected to analog pins A0 and A1 respectively. Here are two MOSFETs which are configured to work as switches. They can be switched on and off by turning on the pin 9 and pin 8 of Arduino. Here, I would like to point out that pin 9 and pin 10 are PWM pins. That means we can feed PWM signals to the MOSFETs. And here you can see LM741 comparator IC which can be used to drive any additional devices that you want. Basically, this is the whole circuit. Now, before you start adding the components to your circuit and design the final PCB, it's always a good idea to have a good knowledge of the components such as specifications, availability as well as price. For that, I would recommend this free site called Octopart. Octopart is an amazing electronics component search engine. You can use Octopart to get details such as distributor pricing and availability. You can also use Octopart to find the components that meet your requirements. You can even purchase the components by clicking the links here itself. It's a free solution for most of our problems and you will get everything in one place. So make sure you check it out. Once the circuit was finished and tested, I designed a compact PCB using Altium where I can fix all the components neatly. Here you can see routing is on both sides of the board which means it's a dual layer PCB. I will provide the links to the Gerber file in the description. It's time for you to solder them together. Solder all the components onto the board and make sure to check the polarity of the components. After soldering, the PCB looks like this. Now let's start coding. This is the code that we will be uploading to our Arduino. Well, it looks pretty simple, right? Well, it is simple. First, we are declaring some variables and assigning it to pins that we will be using in this project. Inside the setup function, we are declaring the pin mode, basically telling the Arduino whether they are input pins or output pins. In the loop function, we are taking the analog readings of the two ports and we are mapping it to the values between 0 and 255. In the next line, we are outputting PWM signals with values that we generated from the previous lines to turn on and off the MOSFETs that are connected to the pins 9 and 10. This way, we can control the brightness of the LED strip. So guys, that's how we create our own brightness controller for these kind of lights. If you have any doubts, make sure you ask in the comments down below. And if you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.